Okay, I can come back. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Good. Okay, cool. Thank you. y'all we just got back in went for a nice little walk stopped at whole foods picked up some things for dinner however the main thing that i wanted to get was not ready so i have to go back later i wanted to get a piece of sockeye salmon and the guy said that he was thawing it it wasn't ready yet so he said give him about a half an hour I told him I would come back, so no big deal there. But I did get everything else that I went in for, which was great. Some sweet baby broccoli. Jasmine rice. I got another one of these holiday cheer kombuchas. I got this a couple weeks ago, I think I shared with you all, and it's really good. I like it, so I got another one of those. And then this is something new that I'm trying from Calafia. It was like right as I was getting ready to head to the self-checkout. And they had three different flavors, so I chose this one. I'm probably going to regret it, but I was intrigued. But it's a Calafia Farms Salted Caramel Almond Latte. It's only 100 calories, so I'll try this out probably later on. So we'll see. I got some baking powder for the house and for Sefton mainly because um, I told you guys he's been doing the cooking club at his school and he learned how to make homemade pizza crust and he asked me to get the ingredients to do homemade pizza crust and when I did my last grocery shop I forgot to get baking powder so got that for him so he can make pizzas this weekend. I think that'll be fun. We also have something fun planned. Also this week we're going to the tree lighting at the 900 North building. It's the building with um, Bloomingdale's, Gucci, a bunch of other stores in there too, but they're doing their Christmas tree lighting and they got like a lot of activities and stuff for the kids. So we're doing that this week as well. Also picked up these caramelized pecans which were super super overpriced but I love pecans and I thought these would be a nice little treat to have um you know like in my yogurt or something I don't know but I love pecans so I got those and I just got some honey because my little honey pot is running low I did switch it up a little bit I'll show it to you guys in a little bit but I need to add some honey to that I got some strawberries. I'm sure these are not the healthiest strawberries that you could get, but my kids love strawberries, so I thought I would give these a try for them. I just picked up some butter. I just got the regular Kerrygold uh, olive oil Irish butter. And then I got this because someone recommended this butter to me, but I think it was in the other flavor i'm not sure but i thought this would be good with the salmon that i'm gonna do for dinner so it's the chive and onion so that should be good that would also be good on like potatoes too like even like a baked potato or if you made like mashed potatoes i think that would be good some baby carrot well petite petite carrots for Seth's lunch he loves carrots I got a new scrub mommy because we desperately needed her and I got two things of milk for PJ if you guys were wondering what kind of milk he drinks it's the ripple kids plant-based this is the only milk he's ever had since he stopped nursing and he loves it so got that and then this was just my grocery list so got everything except the salmon and I'll go back and get that later. We also stopped and got coffees. PJ and I have been enjoying doing our little Starbucks stops during our walks. We don't do it every day. I even posted this on Instagram. I got him, it's a baby Chino, that's what it's called. It's oat milk, warm steamed with powdered cinnamon in it and that's it. So that was the one, and I'm saving these cups because I'm like, I can make these for him at home in the little frother that I have. I can just add his milk and some cinnamon and make his own little 
drinks on the go so I've been saving a little cup so this is the one that he had a few days ago and then this is the one we got today and they actually wrote on it this time but it says kids temp cinnamon almond milk he wasn't a fan of the almond milk he much prefers the oat milk he did take a few sips but it's still practically full but I do want to still keep the cup because they're just super super cute so yeah if you have little kids or toddlers um starbucks does make them little like kids steamers it's just almond or oat milk with whatever little flavoring you want to add in it i've just been doing cinnamon for him but i'm assuming you can do like any of the syrups or sauces for your kids. You can even add whip to it. I haven't added any whip to his. Um, but yeah, that's just been something like fun and cute that we've been doing as part of our little morning walks. So I was like, you know what? I can do that with his milk in the frother. So I'm gonna probably try that and see how he likes it. I'm sure he will because he loves his milk. So I'll try that for him. So I'm also going to organize our little snack cabinet here that i got is from costway i'll show it to you guys i'm gonna get that nice and organized and that'll be that until it's time for him to go down for his nap i'm gonna try to get as much of it done before he goes down for his nap so i won't be making a lot of noise um so yeah that's what i got going on right now so let me go get started on that and then i'll check in with you guys and show you the progress. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, here is the new snack cabinet. Don't mind that, that's Sefton's old step stool that we use. And I absolutely love it. It is from Cosway. You guys have probably seen it like in the background while I'm in the kitchen. I'm so pleased with how well this is working out for us. If you live in a small space, apartment, condo, high rise, whatever, you know that you have limited storage and so we were struggling with storage for just like everyday snacks and things like that my old setup i had here it was just kind of like a rack that wasn't really functioning well for us i didn't like that everything was exposed and out where you could see it i wanted something that was like closed in and so i found this one on costway and i put it together literally in like 30 minutes or less and you guys know i love assembling things i like the storage so i'll show you in a minute the the storage setup i also like that it has this top area where i can as you can see like display different things do decor i pulled out some of my little christmas trees here because i'm starting to like do my decorating i don't know if this is going to stay here but it's here for now i've got my little my little coffee book here my candle this is my santal vanilla my favorite just got some little scones in here. This is real greenery. I just picked it up from the grocery store. Um, I believe this is like filler, uh, filler stuff, but I just wanted it to have some green going on over here. I did switch out my vase for a white vase. So this is what we got going on right now. Like I said, it'll probably change, but so far I'm really liking this setup. So yeah, let me just give you guys an overview of the cabinet. I love the white and the dark combination. I think it looks really, really good with the rest of the cabinets in our place. I'll pop up a before so you guys can see how messy it was. All right, guys, so in this top drawer, this is where we have all of our like Ziploc bags. I have some of Sefton's reusable 
little Ziploc bags that he likes to take um, for a snack for lunch sometimes. Got some foil here. These are just some straws. And this is just a glass empty little storage container. Um, but yeah, I like this top drawer just being dedicated to all of our like, you know, sandwich bags and things like that. Since this is the snack cabinet, um, it's nice having somewhere for all the little sandwich bags and stuff so that's everything that's in here and then here we have all of our snacks and i just love the way this turned out you guys saw me kind of organizing this a little bit but my camera shut off most of this stuff is for the kids, but I like having a dedicated area for all of their snacks. It makes things easier. One, for me, when I'm packing lunches in the morning, grabbing snacks for PJ when we're headed out to his different activities, swim, soccer. It just makes it so much easier to just come in here and grab what we need and go. I personally like having things outside of the boxes. I like the way it looks. However, if you are someone who just likes to keep things stored in their original packaging, you could totally do that with this setup here. I like that it has this little shelf here so you have plenty of storage for the bottom and the top. These are very, very deep uh, shelves as well. So yeah, here we just got some muffins, some little cinnamon toast crunch bars. We got our Christmas pretzels and crackers and then just got some veggie straws that's just some bow tie pasta that I have right there and then back there just got some brown sugar and chia seed <laughs> which you guys probably can't see because it's kind of dark back there this is actually two different little storages but they stack so on the bottom I've just got Sefton's Nutella snacks those are my lar bar uh, chocolate chip cookie dough snacks got some yogurt vanilla yogurt covered uh, raisins and then here is like PJ snacks got him some peanut butter chocolate muffins he really likes these bubbles he really loves these bars too so I got this in apple cinnamon squash and then we've got blueberry and purple carrot these little made good granola minis and the strawberry which are also his favorite so these are like all of pj's favorite snacks over here i've just got some on the go little trail mix things for me i just like to grab those and keep them in my bag also got some pistachio little snack packs back there too so so yeah that's everything that's on the top shelf and then down here we just got some pirate's booty cheez-its and um lesser evil popcorn and in this we've got more snacks i got these little acrylic storage bins all from target i love these they stack on top of each other really really nicely so in this bin we've got some holiday rice crispy treats they have like red and green sprinkles on them some little snack strips for sefton's lunch some little fruit snacks for sefton's lunch so this is like sefton's like snack bin here and then in this bottom bin this is just like extra pretzels barbecue chips that sefton likes we've got some momofuku um ramen noodles because you know Sometimes you just gotta make some noodles real quick and PJ loves those. He really loves the soy and scallion. So I got those there. And so we got that. And then down here is just my, some of my supplements and vitamins that I take daily, my collagen. That's just a thing of oatmeal back there. PJ loves oatmeal. And down here, we've just got some bread, pizza crust and more oatmeal. Um, just like some pasta in there just little miscellaneous things but yeah that's what's on this side I love this cabinet if you are looking for a nice storage cabinet even if you don't need something for snacks if you want to like make this like a little coffee bar I think that would be super super cute if you had like your coffee station here 
and kind of like you know decorate it with all your coffee stuff and then you can have this drawer for like pots ideally i would have loved to have done that but i had to be practical and say okay shauna you know you need somewhere for all of the dry goods and snacks and things like that because you don't have the space and things were just all over the place and as you guys saw how discombobulated this cabinet was prior to me organizing it i'm so so pleased with how everything turned out everything fits perfectly and like i said these are really really deep so even if i wanted to like rearrange this and like push everything back and kind of like make it so that i have more room up here i could totally do that even down here so yeah that is everything and I didn't bother labeling any of this stuff I mean I think that would be cute too but it's pretty self-explanatory um, I feel like labeling is more necessary when there's a container that you can't see through <laughs> but because these are see-through it's like I don't need to write pretzels crackers snacks snacks even though it looks good and you know who knows I might do that at some point but for now this is good and that is my little organization system right now and then over here made some changes this was my um, hand soap little dish but I decided to switch it out and just do my coffee stuff up here on it I just like the way it looks better with the coffee machine um, just gives it a cleaner fresher look in my opinion and these are just some little mini gold spoons and then I did pull out some of my little houses these are the houses that the boys did last year for their little Christmas arts and crafts so I'm gonna decorate with those for them and yeah I'm just gonna figure out how I want to do this stuff that's the crock pot I need to find somewhere to put that this is what I had my coffee um, syrup and honey on but I decided to move it over here by the sink um, but yeah this is just a few of the things that I pulled out of the Christmas decor bin um, I do have other stuff that I need to pull out but I'm just really enjoying taking my time decorating right now um, I did pull the tree out we have not put it up yet but we'll probably do that maybe this weekend um, but yeah it's just been fun taking our time and doing our decorating I also got them a snow globe says 2023 thought that was really cute this is from target and then i got them this cool little like truck it's like a little vintage old school truck um hauling a christmas tree and it's got a cute little reef on the front i just thought this was so cute so i'm going to be decorating their dresser i've already put their little tree up i also got them some Some of these uh, dew drop lights, little twinkle lights in warm white that I'm going to add to the tree because it is not a pre-lit tree. Um, so I got some lights for their tree. So I'll share that with you guys when I do that. But I just think it's going to be so cute just having their room. I'm really like enjoying decorating their room now that they're sharing a room together. Um, I just think it's really special and I like the idea of having their room decorated sefton always had a christmas tree in his room and so yeah we got a new christmas tree for their room it's just a little mini one that can go on the dresser but it's super cute and yeah so that is everything that i wanted to share I'm about to go so i can catch some of my shows the new season of the crown started so i want to start watching that so yeah i'm gonna go and i'll check in with you guys later i'll leave this cabinet link below if you all want to check it out from Cosway. hey y'all so i'm in the car now headed to pick stuff up from school i need to return the cheeses because i had bought these i thought that i had just bought the original 
but it was a variety pack and I didn't want a variety pack I wanted just the traditional ones and I ended up going to the store after I had dropped Seth off at school this morning and I didn't bring those with me to do an exchange I was thinking about returning them but then I was like well maybe I can just like send him to school with Seth for his class but it's only 12 in there it's like 24 kids in his class so I'm like that wouldn't be fair so I think I'm just gonna return them um so they're in the car I don't know if we're gonna return them today because y'all know me and Target we're going through something right now I'm still mad at them for what they did last week even though I know it was a system issue a lot of you all tuned in and was like yeah there was something going on with their system where I live too uh somebody even said that they got like a $25 gift card now I didn't get a gift card because when I got up there customer service was a fool and people were up there upset it was like a line wrapped all the way down by Starbucks I guess from people who were wanting to do in-store pickups they couldn't do their in-store pickup and so I was like I'm not even gonna bother with customer service right now and to be honest I have not been back to that Target since the whole fiasco so yeah I don't know I may just hold off and I can always return it at the Target that's like closer to my house so I'll probably do that or I'll return it to the one that's closer to Sefton's school which is the one that I I go to a lot too so anyway we'll see but um yeah that was crazy oh this afternoon we don't really have anything going on it's just gonna be a pretty standard day another day another school pickup <laughs> happy Friday I'm on my way to pick stuff up from school <laughs> but yeah yesterday wow I had every intention on like vlogging but I was so busy getting some last-minute work done for November that the day got away from me. Yesterday, I pretty much worked all morning, picked stuff up from school, came home, cooked dinner, got the boys dressed, changed, and we went to the 900 North building for the tree lighting. It was for a charity event. I saw it last year and I totally forgot about it. And this year we got tickets. But yeah, we had planned to do this weeks ago. And so yeah, we did that. It was so much fun, y'all. Like so much fun. I'm so happy that we were. But yeah, I was so happy that we were 
able to attend the boys had so much fun PJ absolutely loved it he was dancing it was just so much fun so we did that that was kind of like our kickoff to the holiday season and so I'm like really 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 in the holiday spirit now because it was just really really nice and so beautiful and I just love it. I took so many pictures I posted some pictures on Instagram last night I will insert some footage for you guys here to enjoy um, while I go pick stuff up and then I'll come back. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Alright guys, so we are back home and while I was out, I picked something up that I was totally influenced by because I've been seeing so many people purchase these and I wanted to try them out. So I got the Poppy Prebiotic Sodas. These are the, I guess, limited edition Christmas special. Now, I know everyone is getting this for the limited edition Cranberry Fizz. Um, I happen to like the Cherry Limeade, I think. I don't think I've tried the Doc Pop before, and the Ginger Lime is just okay. So I figured I would just go ahead and get the case because I'll drink them all regardless. But yeah, I wanted to give them a try and see, but mainly I want to try the Cranberry Fizz because everyone that has tried it is like, says it's so good. So we're going to try it tonight. I pulled out my little Christmas tree glasses here. I don't know why my ice came out crushed. I uh, selected cute. So yeah, and if y'all hear that, it's the washing machine is going right now, so. All right, so we got the cherry limeade. So you get two of each. And this is the, oh, cranberry fizz. So here it is. Let's test it out. A straw. Gotta love the sirens. Gotta love the sirens. <laughs> Tell me you live in the city without telling me you live in the city. <laughs> okay. Nah. 
That's good. That's really, really good. Seth might like this too, because he loves the Sprite, the Cranberry Sprite uh, limited edition drink. He's been having me buy those every time I go to the grocery store since they released them. So he would like this because it's similar to that, but this is really good. I hope they make this a uh, permanent drink. It's 25 calories and four grams of sugar. So, yeah. So I'm gonna have this. Maybe grab me a little snack. Give me some popcorn. So yeah, I'm gonna have this with some popcorn and just gonna relax for the evening. <laughs> PJ is has no clothes on right now because his dad just put all his laundry in the washing machine. <laughs> he has clean clothes, but y'all know how dads are. He took PJ's like clothes off to put in the laundry and then he didn't put him any more clothes on so yeah I gotta go put my baby some pajamas or something on so we're just gonna chill out find something to watch on TV I finished the crown so sad the second uh, part doesn't start until like December so I may rewatch this one because there's only like four episodes but yeah it was so sad but as a mom a mom of boys just breaks my heart that she died in the way that she did and left her of her two boys at such a young age now that's probably like my biggest fear is like something happening to me and I'm not here to see my boys grow up and she loved her boys loved them at least that's how they portrayed her on the show she absolutely adored and loved her sons and so for her to die like that oh, just broke my heart so yeah finished that episode and I guess I'm gonna wait for the new part two episode to start in December but um yeah I don't know what we're gonna watch we'll see what PK want to watch we need to catch up on some of our shows, shows that we watch together. We have our own separate shows that we watch separately, but then we have shows that we watch like together. Like uh, Force, I feel like I need to get caught up on Force. We both watch that. And we finished Billions. And oh, we just started watching Lawmen. It's a Taylor Sheridan new series. Uh, if you watch Yellowstone, 1883, any of those, Taylor, Sheridan, it's really good. It's about Bass Reeves, uh, like the first black sheriff who was like a slave and then became like a sheriff, but it's really good. So we've been watching that together. So yeah, we just got a few little shows that we've been watching and we usually get caught up on them on the weekends. So that's probably what we'll do for the evening after the kids go down but yeah we're just hanging out right now so so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch you in my next one bye